Which one you want first? Let's do this one first. How are we even supposed to keep all this shit straight? This camera's out. This camera's out. We don't have we to. We can just do this one. This, and the, there's a bus over there. That bus is ours. This bus is ours. What freaking bus are we even <laughs> doing right now? <laughs> what is going on? It's changing up the style. Here we go. What's up, Road Trip Squad? What is up? We are freaking back to reality. We are back yeah. to life, back to reality. What is that? You never heard that song? No. Well, it's the shit, so anyways. <laughs> uh, We're coming at you from the Road Trip Adventure Bus. Numero uno. Numero uno. As you are aware, when we left you last week, we had brought back our second Numero Dos <laughs> bus. So we're back in Denver, obviously, like we left you last week. We had the long trip from Arizona. In the last like two or three weekends, we've drove over 40 hours with getting back from her surgery, to and from her surgery, and then to and from Northern Arizona with bus number two. We're exhausted. <laughs> to say the least. So, we had to get our lives back together. Um, as you guys know, we finished 75 hard. We took a couple weeks off for Tanya's surgery, but life calls and it's time to get our poop in a group. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Hi, just making sure. Uh, so, we're now on phase one, which is the second part of 75 hard. So it's take a picture every day, drink a gallon of water every day, two workouts every day, one has to be outside. You must follow a diet and you must read 10 pages of a entrepreneur or self-help or self-development type book. Now, phase one is a five minute cold shower. Everything from 75 hard plus a cold five minute cold shower, 10 minutes of visualization practice, and three power moves to push you forward in some point of your lives. And right now, for an example, the two of us are both trying to learn Spanish and we're using Duolingo. And so, maybe 10, 15 minutes. I try to do about five lessons a day on do Duolingo, mm -hmm. and we're using that to uh, help us learn Spanish as we go. So that's something that we're doing now, plus two more, uh, listening to a podcast and sending yeah. a text message or whatever it is, to improve or push you forward in your life. And so we've started phase one. And, and I must say, I am not a fan of cold showers. No, and I'm here to tell you all the guys that have ever taken a cold shower, talk about disappearing, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so with that, we also had to still take care of our weekly chores, our weekly projects. We get home from Arizona, we know that Monday morning we're gonna start phase one, and so what do we, we have to do? Well, we had laundry to do, because we really didn't have we didn't really catch up on our laundry since my surgery, realistically. Sure. What you got, Santa Claus? I got you some new clothes. You bought me new clothes? I got you some new clothes. What did you buy me? Ta-da! Jeez. Now you get to fold it. <laughs> uh, finally got my underwear clean. <laughs> grocery shopping to do. Yes. Thankfully, we actually stopped in Pueblo, Colorado on our way home and got our groceries on our way back to Denver, which saved some time. Um, so then we had a meal prep. So sure. we cook all of our food on Sundays to get ready for the week ahead. So that way we don't have to worry about, you know, cooking or anything like that 
during the week. It saves a lot of time. With that, obviously being nutrition and fitness coaches, uh, we're huge on planning, we're huge on prepping our meals. And so Sundays we do that. So not only did we drive home, but we also were able to get all our meals ready to go. It's Sunday, and on Sundays we prep our food. And it's summertime, so we're going with cooler food. So got a turkey wrap, some celery, cucumber, carrots. Gonna dip that in some hummus. Then I've also got a little lettuce rice Mexican bowl with black beans, garbanzo beans, jalapenos, lettuce, salsa, rice, all the good stuff. Normal Sunday stuff. And now we are starting renovations on the new bus, which we are super excited about because it means that we're getting one step closer to getting where we want to be. And hitting the freaking road. Hitting the road so back. obviously step number one, remove the kitty seats. <laughs> trying to remove the seeds, I tried to start peeling a part of the floor. Sure. In the meantime, this bus is completely different because it has a tracking system for the seats, which is actually really cool, but the track's in the way so you can't really peel the floor up until you take all the bolts out, and then you got to get all the seats out before you take the track out. It so we spent a lot of time taking out the track system because it was every four every inches four inches it's quite the process it's a lot different than this bus which just had bolts going through which we were able to plug up and treat properly sure. and move forward this one we're taking it down to the steel so we will be plying we will be plying up all the wood but we're going to pull all the plywood up and redo all of that so that we know all the holes are plugged and all the rust is stopped or or you stop it from ever trying to rust and we don't have any leaks or anything like that. So we're just gonna start at square one, rip it down to the metal and knock it out. In the meantime, what else was in the way? The handicap lift, which was kind of a pain because the way that the bolts were put in there, um, we it was kind of tricky to get that out as well. There was a few wires that went to it. We were able to unhook all that. We got all the bolts out. All of that is going to go to the scrap yard. Um, we did try to sell the lift. There is a lot of lifts for sale. You know, I know a lot of people say that you can get some money for them, but we, we don't, don't have, have room, room to store it. We don't, we can't put it nowhere. And so we put it up for sale for one week. No one really said, and we actually had it really cheap. No one really wanted it. So we're just gonna choose to scrap it. I hate doing that, but it's, it's a perfectly good, good lift. Yeah. But it's just we don't have anywhere or any room for it. And it's what was what would be holding us back from moving forward with our progress. So. Sure. And so that is what we plan to do tomorrow is to take all of our scrap metal, the seats that we have all removed and the lift that we have removed mm -hmm. as well as we stripped all the seats down with all the foam and the material and the wood. We peeled all that up, took that to the to the dump, got rid of all that, and now all we're left with is all the metal. And that is gonna go tomorrow. That way we can continue to move forward with the renovations. Absolutely. So then the next thing that we came across was, this bus actually came with an air conditioner. Um, there's an air conditioning system that's in the back, and we had really contemplated whether we keep it or not keep it. I know we talk about having an air conditioner for when it's hot like this, but we would have to leave the bus run sure. to use it. Mm -hmm. Not gonna wanna do that. No, when it's hot like this, and you let something run, it'll, this will stop being so cold. Yeah. Cause you're not like idled up or nothing, you're just running. Mm-hmm. Well, unlike we talked too, so, we're talking our bed being raised, yeah. right? Yeah. 
So I, I, I honestly, I think it's gonna suck to have the air conditioner that close to where you're sleeping. Sure. Cause it would be like, you're literally, like for me, I'll be literally laying right underneath it. Yeah. And it doesn't work right now anyway. So yeah. then that's another thing. We gotta figure out then how, how do we make it work? I don't know if that's something hard. Like, would you rather get it checked out before we make that decision? Because once I pull the plug, I'm out. I mean, it's only going to keep it cool in here for, like, it's not like you're going to leave your vehicle idle for all night. All night. And that's going to be the time that you're going to want to be most cool, sure. I would think. When we're trying to sleep. Sure, but uh, obviously as it gets night, it gets cooler though too. In yeah. most places. Right. And so we kind of, you know, went through and debated and did some pros and cons of if we kept it or if we didn't. And I think we both have agreed to just get rid of it. Yeah, it only works if the bus is running. And yes, it would be handy, but it also takes up a lot of room where the bed is. And we're gonna probably have an elevated bed on this one. And so it's just not gonna work out the way we want it to. So we're in the process of removing the air conditioner now, but there's a lot of wires and a lot of hoses and a lot of things that need figured out. So we're also trying to figure all them things out right now. So thankfully we have bus number uno still. Absolutely. We also have decided that we're going to tear the ceiling out of the bus as well and that way we can put some different insulation in there because even though the bus has a lot of windows which can you know kind of contradict having insulation it does help some so we would rather do everything right and plus we have a kick but but <laughs> a kick butt uh idea for our ceiling that sure. we're pretty stoked about so um so we kind of started on taking a few things off there. That's kind of where we left off. Yeah. And I mean, so, it was a pretty busy weekend. Yeah. And I mean, even though it doesn't seem like we got a lot done, it took quite a bit of time. And realistically, I mean, it is, it was a good start. Sure. And so, yeah, I mean, that's basically where we got. And that's basically sort of what you're gonna start to see is, and that's what you should be looking for is kind of, uh, you know, the seats getting rid of, the AC being removed, the heater being removed, and really starting to knock into the floor some. And that's, that's, that's really where we're at right now. That's kind of the plans that we're shooting for right now. Um, we look forward to it. We're already we pretty excited. Every, we're already you know, planning. Yeah. And you know, dreaming and daydreaming and thinking <laughs> and writing things down and drawing maps up. So that's super, yeah, super exciting. Um, we are, we do have some really cool ideas with this bus and we look forward to continuing to show you what we have to do with it. So the next thing and the final thing on our agenda this week, we might have slipped a little of it into our Instagram story is this. Show the ladies and gentlemen. Ba -da -da. The Road Trip Squad. <laughs> we've been talking about the Road Trip Squad. We've been telling you to pay attention to see when the Road Trip Squad comes out. It, it is, is finally, finally here. here. Jinx. <laughs> you owe me a soda. Oh, yuck. You can have it. <laughs> uh, so with the Road Trip Squad, we wanted to make something for you guys. Sure. Um, a way to just kind of give back and give you a little bit more insight to who we are and what we have going on and just do some super special things for mm -hmm. just the people who are part of our road trip squad. And allow you guys to become part of our squad and allow us to get to know you better and become part of your squad. And so this whole ordeal is for you, but it's also for us so that we can all come together and brainstorm and come up with ideas and help each other grow and help each other see different things and learn different ways and really, really become a family. Absolutely. And that's, that's what we're about. That's the squad. We want to really squad it up, if you know what I mean, and just be together. Yeah, because if most of you who've been following us for a while know that when Dustin and I picked up and left to travel, we 
don't have like we this don't have it. kids we don't have any of that so you are our family sure we have some family some of them we claim some of them we don't <laughs> but we're looking to add some people and Absolutely. you guys can be the ones so, so if you are interested in becoming part of the road trip squad there is a link below in the description. Click on the link. It'll give you all of the information you need so you know how to join and become part of our family. We look forward to see you there. And with that... Finito. <laughs> Finalized. How should we end it? Finished. That's it. That's about it, guys. Bon voyage. We don't have See you later. That's all, folks. That's a little much. But seriously, though. But seriously, though. That's all we got. That's all we have. Um, please stay tuned for more bus builds. It's coming up. Like I said, it's going to be kind of in your face from here until we're done. <laughs> we're done. Um, you know, we don't plan on giving up all of our adventures this summer or fall to do just strictly bus build stuff. I mean, we still have some things that we want to do and go out and adventure because that's who we are. That's, sure. that's what we like to do. Yeah. And um, that's why you follow us. We are the road trip adventure couple. Like. We don't do the coffee and we don't do the meals wait, and we don't wait. do the, I, do I mean, coffee. we eat. I do coffee. I mean, we drink coffee, you but we coffee. also road trip and we venture. And so it's going to be some building. It's going to be some business. It's going to be some fun and we're going to have a damn good time. Absolutely. So come along with us, join the road trip squad and let's have an epic rest of the summer into the fall, into the winter, into the abyss. And with that... Into the... Uh, <laughs> into the... Uh, bus. Oh, oh shoot. <laughs> Alright, guys. That's it. That's all we got. Check us out. Thank you so much for watching. If you do like our videos, please make sure you subscribe. They actually do help us out. Um, we look forward to seeing you soon. Bye, guys. Spread love. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Pooping. <laughs>